Hello everyone and welcome to the 5th episode of our ESP32 series. Now after watching this full video, you'll come to know how you can use the classic Bluetooth feature on our ESP32 board. Yes, of course, ESP32 contains BLE built-in, but it can also be configured into classic Bluetooth mode in which we can establish a serial communication between our ESP32 board and our smartphone. Now this is exactly the same which we were using on our Arduino board using the HC05 Bluetooth module. Now in the end, I'll also let you know how you can control appliances using the Bluetooth classic feature of the ESP32 board from our smartphone using an application. So this is all we are going to learn in this particular video. So let's get started. <laughs> jump on to the Arduino code, we'll just open the Arduino. Now here is the example which says serial to serial Bluetooth which is available into the files, examples into this Bluetooth serial and serial to serial Bluetooth. Now I haven't modified a bit in this particular code as it is pretty straightforward. Let's just uh, read this code line by line. So the comment says this is an example which creates a bridge between the serial and classic Bluetooth, okay? So it is just establishing a serial communication using this classic Bluetooth, which is also called as SPP, which stands for Serial Port Profile, okay? Starting with the code, it includes the library Bluetooth Serial.h, which is the necessary library if you want to use this ESP32 in a classic Bluetooth mode, okay? Now this bit of code says, if Bluetooth is not configured inside the make config file, then we have to enable it. But generally, it is already enabled if you haven't modified the library, okay? So by default, it is enabled. So no need to worry about this particular lines. Then we are, uh, you know, declaring an instance called serial Bluetooth. We can write uh, any name here. We can also write as ESP32 Bluetooth. This is just a variable, but I will keep it as it is. And uh, this is a declare instance in the class called Bluetooth Serial, okay? Moving ahead, we have in the void setup, we are beginning the serial monitor at 11.5.00 baud rate. And uh, by writing serial bt.begin, we don't need to assign here the baud rate, rather we need to assign the Bluetooth name or the device name here. So ESP32 test will be assigned as the device name for this particular ESP32 board. You can also modify this as a home automation ESP32. So the device name will be, you know, converted into home automation ESP32. So it is also a variable. You can choose whatever you want. After that, it will be printing on the serial monitor that the device started. And now you can pair it to Bluetooth. As simple as that. The device, the, the Bluetooth is turned on and it's now ready to pair with the another devices. Okay. On the void loop, it says, it's very simple. We must have seen inside the Arduino code uh, using H05. What, what this line of code says, if serial dot available means if we are writing something from serial monitor of the Arduino, just write the same thing on the serial Bluetooth of the ESP32 board. And if we are getting something from serial Bluetooth of the ESP32 board, just print everything on our serial monitor of Arduino. So this is just a, you know, a two way communication. If there's something coming from ESP32, print on the uh, Arduino IDE. If there's something from Arduino IDE, print on the ESP32. Just two way communication and that's it. We are done with this code and we just need to upload this code onto the ESP32 board. We'll, we'll select the right board and right port. Everything is selected. We'll just click on this upload button. And as soon as it shows connecting, we need to press and hold this boot button, okay? It started uploading the code and it's done uploading. We'll just open the serial monitor and we'll press the reset button. So it shows the device started and now you can pair it with the Bluetooth. So we have successfully configured this. Well, now we'll get a smartphone. Let me just zoom it in. So I have this Android smartphone on which I have this uh, application called Serial Bluetooth installed in it. I hope that you can see. Okay, so I'll just, uh, you know, uh, turn on the Bluetooth on my smartphone and we'll establish a connection by going into this devices and this ESP32. Okay, it shows it is connected with this ESP32 board and whatever I will type here, we'll just print it on the serial monitor. We'll just type as ASD and as ASF. As you can see, the ASF is printed onto the serial monitor and whatever I'll be writing on the serial monitor, I will just type as a QWERTY and that will be printed on the smartphone. 
I think it is printed. Yeah, the QWERTY is printed on the smartphone. So this is basically a two-way communication established between the smartphone and the ESP32 board. Okay, the serial communication is established by this particular code. And by using this particular code, let me just zoom it out. Now by modifying this particular bit of code, we can control appliances by using the GPIO pins of this ESP32 device. And for that, I already written one code. Let me just show you that code. So here is the code which says Bluetooth LEDs as I will be, uh, you know, demonstrating this particular code by controlling the LEDs using my smartphone. So what I had modified this particular code, I will just let you know, I will just define the uh, four pins as a four output, which is 12, 13, 14 and 27, the GPIO pin of the ESP32. And I have an application which is send this particular text by pressing uh, different, different buttons. So I have just assigned the different action by you know recognizing different characters received okay so if i received t which says connection established if i receive one it says turning on the first led and it will turn on this led and likewise i have assigned different actions to different characters received okay so this is all about the code i have well commented this code so you can easily you know identify which program or which function is used for which particular purpose i will straight away upload this code I'll press and hold this boot button as soon as it shows connecting. Okay, pressing the boot button. Okay, so it's done uploading. Let's just open the serial monitor. Okay, maximize it and we'll just press the reset button. So it says the device started and now you can pair it with Bluetooth, uh, same as we have seen before. Now I'll just quickly make the connections and I'll let you know how you can you know control the GPIO pins using the smartphone and which application we should use for this particular purpose. So let's just make the connection. So I successfully made the connection of all these four LEDs with the ESP32 board. Now I will take out my smartphone and install the app called this Bluetooth control for Arduino. If we are using this particular code which I am providing, then you need to use this particular application only because I have assigned the codes uh, which are received from this application onto this particular ESP32 board. So we'll just start with this code uh, with the application. We'll first click on this connection button which will establish the connection with the ESP32 board. Okay, so it says the successfully uh, established the connection. Now, if I click on this first button, it will turn on the first LED. So I'll just click on this first button. So it, as you can see, the yellow LED turned on. I hope you can see it. Okay, so I'll click on again this first button. It will turn off the first LED. Okay, on and off. If I click on this button, it will turn on the green LED and off. If I click on this fourth button, it will turn on the white LED and off. And if I click on the second button, it will turn a red LED and off. If I click on this on all button, which is available at the top corner, so it will turn on all the LEDs. Uh, wait. Okay. So as you can see, it turned on all the LEDs. And if I click on this off all button, it will turn off all the LEDs. So on and off. So yeah, this is how you can, you know, control different LEDs or you can also control different appliances if you attach relays in place of this LEDs. So this is how you can create a home automation using the Bluetooth classic feature of our ESP32 board. So this is how you can control appliances using the classic Bluetooth feature on our ESP32 board. I hope you got the idea how you can use the Bluetooth feature on our ESP32 board. Now in the next video, I will let you know how you can do the same stuff using the BLE feature of our ESP32 board. So stay tuned with my videos and subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn more about this ESP32 series and also about the projects on home automation, electronics and IoT. So wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me Techie SMS. Uh -huh.